Ganymede? Europa? How's... how's Jupiter's orbit going? Same old, same old. What about Saturn, Titan? Saturn's been... okay, I guess. Anyways, nice seeing you. Ugh, don't act stupid, Titan. Everyone knows you're putting together a club and decided not to include us. Yeah! What gives? What gives? Well, I want this to be a safe space for moons. If I let you join, you'll turn this into some messed up uprising or convince us to do some ridiculous plan. Titan! What? It's the truth, Luna. These two complicate everything. Sorry, I'm not having them in my club. Fine. We didn't want to be part of your stupid club anyways. Fine. Double fine. Ugh. I don't think you're being fair, Titan. Fair would have been to throw an asteroid in Ganymede's face. Fair with us. Wait, I'm not being the bad guy here. What? Calling this your club. You're making all the decisions for the rest of the moons. I didn't mean- Look, I don't particularly like Ganymede and Europa either, but it doesn't feel right to exclude them. After all, are they the only ones to blame? You turned my protest into a war! Me? I just told you what you wanted to hear. From the moment we met, I could tell that you wanted more. That deep inside, you wanted revenge. Tell me I'm wrong! Ugh, forget them, Ganymede. We can have our own club. Just the two of us? Yeah, why not? I don't know. It's not much of a club if it's just two moons. Well, what else can we do then? They don't want us there. Actually, we do. What do you mean? It'll take some convincing, but Titan will come around. So, we can join the club? Yes. Okay, awesome. Let's go, Europa. Wait, the reason we made the moon club is to have a safe space for the moons but also to be smarter about the problems we all share. Not all the planets really understand our struggle, and that's what we want to change, okay? Yes, we understand. Don't make this about you, or your insecurities, or your fears. Even after everything that has happened, we all want to believe in you. Uh, w welcome to the Moon Club. Thanks. Happy to be here, or... Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm happy you are here. Me too. <laughs> so, with these two and after the fun and games we had, I believe it's time to finally address the situation with our planets. Moons of Mercury? Oh, okay. Uh, moons of Venus? Titan. None of them have moons. Uh, my bad, my bad. Moons of the Earth, present. Please address the situation with your planet, Luna. Well, things are much better now. The Earth is a lot more conscious of a lot of things. I see. Well, I'm happy to hear that. Anything else you'd like to add? I guess... I don't know. They never invite me to their card games. The rocky planets are always playing cards, and they sort of forget I even exist. I see no reason why I can't join. Thank you, Luna. Next up are the moons of Mars. Phobos? Deimos? Ah, we love Mars! Yup! And we don't give two comments about space poker, so... Alright, so all's perfect with Mars. Yup! Mars is perfection! That sounds weird, Phobos! You sound weird! No, I don't! Okay, done with the rocky planets. I pass it on to Jupiter's moons. Well, Jupiter is still the same. He treats the Galilean moons like we are his football team or something. Question! We are the four of us, Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, and me, Eo. Oh, I wanted to be Galilean. Maybe one day. Okay, Moons, let's not get too distracted. Anything else from you? What about the new members? I, I'm okay. Jupiter is hiding something. What do you mean? I mean, he has a big secret that he's not telling us. But whatever it is, it scares him to his very core. I think he's afraid of someone. Oh, come on, Europa. Jupiter just had a bad day. I know you admire him, Ganymede, but you can't deny he's been acting strange, escaping into the Kuiper Belt, being all paranoid. He's Jupiter. He's the leader of the planets, okay? He doesn't fear anything. Guys, I'm sorry, but we have more planets to cover. Sorry. sorry. Okay, time for my group. The moons of Saturn. Well, Saturn doesn't know a single one of our names except for yours. 
Wars Titan. And he destroyed hundreds of moons, which is why he has rings. That's not a proven theory, and he wasn't aware of it. Still worth addressing. Okay, okay. It's Titania's turn. I, I mean, Uranus's moons. I guess Uranus has been awkward since we returned. He doesn't know how to address us, and is just afraid of offending us again. Almost done. And finally, Neptune's moons! Honestly, Neptune is perfect! Yeah! We love Neptune! Yeah! Neptune's the best! Neptune's the best! He's so cool! I want to be like Neptune! You heard the little moons. We're pretty happy right now. Okay, so we have some good relationships and some complicated ones. The goal now is to find an effective way to address them. Gwenny... Any ideas? We go to the sun. We what? Look, I must admit our previous plan was a bit misguided and vindictive. But if we want to actually make a difference, we should go straight to the one that's actually in charge of the solar system. He's right. We have to address our issues with the sun. If he hears us, he can make the planets do anything. <laughs> Just like he made them change orbits the other day. Exactly, Eo. I... I don't know. What's the angle here? No angle. It's a solid plan. I have to agree. It's worth a shot, and we have nothing to lose. All in favor of talking to the sun! <laughs> I Me? Let's do it! Yes, of course! Luna, Phobos, Deimos, yes, Titan? Yes, boss! You're the closest moons to the sun, so you know the area. I want you to guide me to the sun so we can explain the situation to him. Aye, aye, Captain! I hope we'll be back with good news. Meeting dismissed. 